couldn't put these together. In other words, you saw the Ouija board was wrong. You saw, yeah. and, and you put that to one side. And, and this rest, which you may have put under a supernatural realm altogether or whatever, you, you didn't see that as the same problem. No, I, I didn't band them together. I didn't band things like ghosts with an Ouija board. I didn't make that connection in that way. Right. So, no, I didn't. Uh, Laura, w would that be the same for you? Uh, I mean, in, in, in that you could departmentalise these things. I mean, I, I, you know, would tend to put them all under the realm of the supernatural, you know. But were you able to departmentalise them as well? Yeah, we, um, myself, my mum and all the spiritualists we knew, we, we certainly believed um, Ouija boards worked, but we avoided that kind of a thing. We felt that was the, the darker side, if you like, and we wouldn't recommend anyone do that. We would mm. be quite horrified and would suggest people not to do that. Um, mm. We knew it was supernatural, but we didn't touch it. No. So, so that sounds quite a general feeling amongst you that, you know, that there are certain aspects of the darker side which are really dark and you mm. don't have anything to do with, but there are other aspects that aren't quite so bad then. Mm. Yeah, that's how it seemed. <laughs> yeah. So, what, what did you find out? You were buying these books, you were watching the furniture move around your room, you were listening to these steps going up, 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 up and down the stairs. What, where, where did that lead you to? And, and how, what was that journey like? Well, it led me into an, in, into an interest of anything to do with the paranormal. I didn't make the connection when I was reading things about tarot cards, I was reading stories about ghost stories and reading things about mediums in books and things like this and some of the seances that we were talking about I didn't make that connection that it was evil that it was wrong so to me it was just something that was part of our world that we didn't see but it was there yeah. so that, that's what it was <laughs> and, and so although supernatural you didn't feel it was controlling you, you didn't feel it was something to be avoided, you felt it was something you could look into, to get to know, and to tap it, into in some way. It, it, it was just another aspect of life, another part of life, but not a part that we can normally discern or understand that well, but it was there, it was just the other side of life. And it, it just seemed extremely fascinating and interesting. Mm. In, in this seeking, well, which I presume was a journey, was a road, yes. if, if, if you like, were there any doubts along the way? Not really, no. There, there may have been the odd one or two here and there, but I didn't have the sort of faith that would make me think, this is wrong. So there, there wasn't that connection. It, like I said, I, to the best of my understanding, I got all my knowledge from these books that, you know, that were in the library and that. And I joined a book club later on, and I was receiving books on the paranormal as well, and uh, including a, a free deck of tarot cards. And <laughs> so I didn't see that, that it was wrong. Right. Now, comparing that with your Roman Catholic upbringing, mm -hmm. did you think, hey, there's differences here and these are leading in different directions and you chose to go that way or did you think well it's all spiritual I mean how did you see that exactly as you said it's all spiritual right that, that's how I perceived it and that's how I understood it I didn't have enough of um, enough of a basis uh, biblical basis or understanding of you know uh, the teachings in the Bible at that time to make that connection, to make the fact that what I was involved in was wrong. Mm. In fact, I had no idea. Right. And so you had the, the, the religious around you, but it was spiritual. That led you to, to, to an area of spirituality. What you were involved in led you also to an area of spirituality. You had no problems with that. At the time, no, I didn't. Mm. I, I wonder if there are viewers that are feeling or have felt in, in, in the same way. Um, do, do make contact with us, do give us your communication, do talk to us about where you are. Have you got questions with regard to the supernatural? Maybe you're looking down some of these roads even now. Come on board, come and ask some questions, come and let us have your stories as we go through uh, this, uh, this hour uh, together. What, 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 
various formats did you go through? Okay, we've talked about the Ouija board, but you developed a lot further than that. Tell us about what you got into, and, and was it sort of one step after another, or how did that work out? One step after another is a very yeah. good example, yeah. It was, first, it was an interest in, as I've already mentioned, about ghosts and paranormal, and in general, uh, spiritualism, which I didn't realise the term at the time. Um, but the first real step was when I joined a paranormal book club, and I received these tarot cards. That's where my interest really perked because from there I was also reading in books about spiritualist churches and psychic developments and things like this and uh, that made me look into that and I started attending spiritualist churches around about the age of 20 and I found a medium to teach me how to do the, the tarot cards but the interesting thing is at that time is I found that I didn't need teaching very quickly I was picking them up and getting things from the cards for people so it was it was a step by step and one thing led to another psychic development and then they talk about things like psychometry where you have an item and you you can get images or things like that from an item belonging to a person it, it was just a step by step process it, I, I refer to spiritualism as the subtle deception and it, it is it just slowly brings you in step at a time mm -hmm. so each time you feel that everything's okay and it just goes further and further down the line so it was a gradual step-by-step -step process. How... Uh, you, you talk of two things. One, you talk about being taught the tarot cards, yeah. which seems to give it an indication that it's something which you can learn, whoever right. you are. You also then talked about that you got things for people. In other words, it seems that as you put the tarot card down, you were thinking you are this or you are that or, or there's this in your yeah. life. Uh, there seem to be two different levels there. Are, are there those two different levels in, in, in these areas? Uh, I don't know for definite. I, I mean, I was being taught about what each individual card meant or what the perceived meaning of each card was meant for. But like I said, I found very quickly I didn't actually need to be taught about it, I could literally just put cards down and I would get things from the cards, the images, impressions, words um, about the person I was doing the reading for without having to learn everything. Mm. So, I mean, at the time there was, you could learn about tarot's and but that's how it just seemed I seemed to pick it up without having to learn it. Right. <laughs> so. Laura, did, did, did you go down this road as well? And, and was your experience the same? Did, did you get pictures? Did you think of things like that? How, how far did you develop into that realm? Um, with tarot, tarot cards for um, myself and other spiritualists, we knew it wasn't something... We, we kind of regarded it a bit like the Ouija board. It wasn't something we wanted to do. Um, we were members of one spiritualist church, but we visited three quite regular and, and a few others too and really just within Glasgow there was a kind of feeling then that tarot cards wasn't something um, that, that, that we should do so no we didn't actually go down that road mm -hmm. and but did, did you you also felt that there was something just beyond you in, in, in other words you felt things inside or you saw or heard things that that may, you, you, there was no reason why you, you, you yeah, should know them yeah, anyway. Yeah. It, it was the same thing for you. Yeah, and, and I think we, we just really felt that everyone has, has the potential to become psychic, you know, every...